I see the comments that said. I think you're ready with changing on. No, no, no. I seen the comment that said, y'all be doing all this to ride dick for five minutes. <laughs> first of all, first of all, I don't, bitch. I don't ride dick at all. First of all, I don't even come that fast. So five first minutes all, is out of the way. I don't ride dick. First of all, and I'm a top. I do ride dick. I don't ride dick. That's my girl. And he a top. <laughs> That's number one. I don't have sex. He fucking you hoes till y'all ain't got no more stamina. That's number one. Right. Number two, right. I'm riding that dick till he floor. come twice. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I ain't never fucked Sorry. on a nigga that ain't came three times. No. That's, That's facts. Stop talking. That's facts. That's enough. Megan. Only reason why Megan. niggas is not fucking with me is because I broke up with them. Megan. I don't want to deal with you. Megan. Quick nut niggas. Megan. I don't like niggas that don't last long. That's the tea. What? I said enough. I said enough. You also bent over on the counter. I said enough. That was enough. Oh my God. You niggas. Are not lasting. That hurts so bad. People be like, oh my gosh, she for the streets. No. I'm just joking. I'm you oh. niggas are for the weak. <laughs> you you niggas like Which bitches a, that's going one around. Yeah. round. <laughs> I'm going four. I'm, I'm going four. Megan, you're going up, you're going down. I'm going up, you're going down. You can meet me in a trap. Hey. It's going down. Play that. Matter of fact, oh, run it. I'm, I, I'm Young Jock is going down. I said enough. Who's the DJ? You're not playing Young Jock is going down. <laughs> That's enough because you're not playing Young Jock is going down. Get off of this line, Megan. I didn't even say anything. You're really old, Dan. <laughs> Megan. Oh, Joey. That's going down. <laughs> That's the nasty ass mac and cheese going down. <laughs> okay. Trying to come that oil. Munchie. Just trying to get out. There you go. Hey, come on. Oh, wait, not yet. Not yet. You gotta be on for Oh my god. Hey. Right, Joey, you know She's drunk and I'm trying to get her off this live. Something that could have made his ass. The motherfucker never ate my pussy. What? Social media has opened the eyes on the class, intellectual women, and girls that low hang from the fruit. <laughs> What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm your host, Andrew26101 Show. I want to thank you guys who are live right now, staying in tune and watching the show. Those of y'all who are new to the show, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. Uh, approximately about April 26th, I'll be lifted off of my YouTube jail sentence, and I should be able to go on live where I can post live feedbacks and um, you know do live shows. But listen... I want to talk to you about um, Megan the Stallion. Now, before I do get into this commentary in this video, I just want to make everybody know perfectly clear. My channel, I do a lot of comedy skits, and I do talk about a lot of real topics. And I also make some sort of, uh, you know, real, um, well, I, well, not sort of, but I also talk about real time events. And also talk about things that could have an impact to us as a community. Um, now, this video in no shape or form, before I do get into this commentary, no shape or form is this a disrespect to black women. Um, this is the ongoing saga of what I see for the most part in our community. Me being as a black man. And this is the stuff that ironically 
I see time and time again from a lot of these celebrities out here and the message that they put out here because not only with these black women who are celebrities that are putting out a message but they have to understand that a lot of their followers are also children and also kids who watch and follow these entertainers so whatever type of i guess um whatever they put out most of the time the kids are going to follow because those are the idols but anyways i'm going to get into this uh video that came across on world star that kind of piqued my attention and i'm going to pause in between and obviously give my best commentary uh to my ability and kind of give you exactly what i think about this subject and matter um the title speaks for itself um let's go ahead and play i seen a comment that said y'all be doing all this to ride dick for five minutes <laughs> first of all i'm riding that dick so he come twice shut the fuck up now obviously she's drunk and and pissy drunk uh <laughs> on ig but okay let's keep going shut the <laughs> fuck up <laughs> i ain't never fucked on a nigga that ain't came three times Yo, that's, that's, facts. Facts. Girl, that's, that's facts that's facts that's enough. Megan. Only reason why Megan. niggas is not fucking with me is because oh, I broke up with them. Megan. I don't want to deal with you Megan. quick nut niggas. Megan. I don't like niggas that don't last long. Okay, all right, so basically, this is it, right? All right, so now I take this, honestly, me, I don't take this very seriously. They're just joking around, horsing around and shit. But at the end of the day, black folks, entertainers, we need to take accountability for our own actions because whatever we put out there is pretty much a symbolization of what most younger kids are looking up to especially because listen they have a lot of weight they pull a lot of weight they're entertainers so most likely you know kids are going to look up to this and see this as okay well i guess this is cool nigga shit the problem that i have here is this right is that this is not a black women man this is why a lot of y'all are single and this is no disrespect like i said to black women but majority of black women who act a fool like this this is no type of form a representation of what a black woman should be represent her representing herself as a person you don't see white people doing some shit like this though talking about them fucking somebody and making them come and stuff maybe the whore trash bags that's out there that are celebrities that don't give a shit but in the comment that's you don't see too many of them talking about stuff like that so this is what i made i made a comment exactly to on world star exactly to the title i said megan the stallion is a prime example on why many black women are single and are used as sex market so of course out of the bunch i always got to get the pookies and the ray rays that will attack me and say this that bitch this is what he said this is what this nigga said that bitch has more goals and has done more than you in a lifetime well how would you know that what goals she's a singer okay that's cool she makes more money than me yeah most likely but how do you know that i'm not financially secure how do you know if I don't have more money than her? Which I don't, but I'm just saying. 
I could just be one of those low-key dudes who's a millionaire. How would you know that? But this is the type of nigga mentality that we have, folks. The first thing he has as a definitive statement is that this bitch has more goals and has done more than you in a life. She's still in college right now. So what she likes to dance and have sex, y'all niggas weird. Okay, so I am weird because I am against trashy ass women who are supposed to be a representation of the black community, who are black women, who are teaching these young kids to, hey, see what I'm doing? You could do the same thing too. What, what would you say to a person like Megan Thee Stallion if she has kids? So this is what, this is, this is the, this is the type of backlash. See how I got a lot of, th I got a lot of thumbs up for this, right? This person says all women gets used. That, that's just a damn troll. So this person says, get her dick out your mouth. She has done more than you in a life as well. <laughs> the same thing can be said towards yourself, dummy. Simp ass nigga. See, this is the problem that I have, right? With a lot of Negroes, Negroes, who are simps, who would simp for a person like Megan Thee Stallion, okay? Y'all so hypnotized by the way she looks and focus on her ass that y'all forget about the actual message that she's putting out there. But then when a black person like myself and a man who's honestly against shit like that, all of a sudden... Oh, you just jealous. You're a hater. She got more money than you. That's the that's the typical ignorant nigga response. You know why they respond like that, the simps? I'll tell you why. Because they don't have an answer. Because they know you're right. So this is his response. I respond to him. Uh, let me see if it's down here somewhere. Oh, wait. These are a couple of responses that people were saying, right? So, um, I response to him. I said, so her speaking on making niggas bust nuts, acting a damn fool on IG drunk, make her a savior. You see, you are one of these thirsty niggas who on social media praising this type of behavior. You are the problem your whole argument is make she makes more money than me laugh my ass off typical nigga response and this guy says facts my nigga these simple simon nigga ass niggas don't know real when they hear it i just see see this is this is where you separate the men from the pookies and the ray rays this is where you separate the men from the pookies and the ray rays his response is chrissy Corey. What kind of damn black man name is Chrissy Corey? He says this. I just don't give a fuck what she does. She, but stupid. If you think grown people ain't fucking and busting nuts. Who said that I don't, who said that I don't see or think people are busting and fucking each other? Obviously they are. That's not my problem. That's not my issue. My issue is not fucking and sucking. My issue is why are you putting it out there? You don't see white people doing that shit. Not for the most part. Why are we the only race that loves to make ourselves look like a damn fool? And then you gotta have one of these Ray Ray Pookie niggas. It's always one of these Ray Ray Pookie niggas, right? They always got some dumb shit to say. And I said, well, that's the problem with the black community. No one gives a fuck. And I'm totally right. That's the problem. Nobody gives a fuck. And think it's cool shit. I wonder if she or when she has kids, how will she explain this behavior? I hate ignorant niggas. This is why the black race is doomed. It's truth. You got a division between black people and niggas okay i was gonna do a video a long time ago called the black community versus niggas you know what i'm saying because you got the black community on one side and then you got niggas on the other side this is the problem folks this is the problem is that 
we condone too much of this bullshit behavior and think it's cool. This is why people don't have respect for us. This person says here, her being in college is irrelevant to the bigger issue. Very true. And I'm going to say facts. Very true. Nah, I'll just say very true. Very true. They think because, oh, well, I got an education and I got a degree so I can act like a damn fool. It doesn't matter. I have an excuse. Come on, man. Her being in college is irrelevant to the bigger issue in all of this, which he's perfectly correct on. She still upholds herself in a classless behavior and no good values. Man, that has standards and morals will not entertain her to be his wife. Exactly. Her dancing around like a damn fool, shaking her ass in front of all these celebrities. Do you think any man is going to value a woman like that? And you don't even value this woman like that. Because you said, so what, my nigga? She's shaking her ass, though. Because you just thirsty. And you just love the fuckery. That's all it is. So when a nigga like me gets on here and starts speaking the truth on the stupidity on what the black community is doing, all of a sudden, I bought her. Uh, you sound like a typical black female who's having a definitive argument that makes any that doesn't make any sense. Then the first thing they want to say is you jealous. What the hell do I got to be jealous for because I'm not shaking my ass? What the fuck? I'm a male. There's nothing for me to be jealous over a female about. It's just the behavior, the message that's being put out there. We just keep putting ourselves down, man. It just gets, it gets, it's classless, man. Megan The Stallion has made it, okay? She's an entertainer. She doesn't have to be doing all this stuff. It's on call for. What, for a little bit of attention? Her being in college is irrelevant, which I totally agree to the bigger issue. In all of this, she is still she still upholds herself in a classless behavior and no good value. Man that has standards and morals will not entertain her to be his wife. She's gonna be one of those that have all these jewels. She will excel but still not happy with herself it's still thriving online listen man for a woman to go online right for a woman like megan the stallion to have a lot of money you know she's she's pretty much wealthy right she's got money she got a bag and she still goes online drunk and she's talking all this and she's still on some nigga shit because that's what it is it's nigga shit that just shows you right there that she's at a downward spiral in her life and she obviously is not happy with herself because somebody who's happy with themselves wouldn't result into this type of uh, level. This man says the good man of value, shut up. You just reduce old girls whole life down to some standards and moral shit. See, this is the problem that I have is the Ray Rays and the Pookies. But see, Megan Thee Stallion is for Ray Rays and Pookies. Because... Once her stock exchange has gone up and it's gone down, because a lot of these entertainers, right? A lot of them, when they don't really got nothing going on for themselves, they result, they revolve, they, 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 they kind of result into doing a lot of heinous, stupid acts for attention on social media. I don't know if you guys peep that out, but I do. And it is, <coughs> excuse me, it doesn't necessarily have to pertain into, uh, women in per se because there's men out there who act like a fool too but it just shows you the lack of education because this is a woman who's been who's what been to college and at the same time um you know i i just don't get it so this guy says here the good old the good men of value shut up in response to this guy you just reduce old girls whole life down to some standards and moral shit that i'm pretty sure you don't even live by how do you know that then want to place value on something what's 
more important than education if you don't value that than shit. See, this is this the Ray Ray Pookie talking. So this guy says, going to college is great, but what good is it to furnish your house with expensive furniture while sitting while setting it on fire? Very true. So he says this, going to college is great. I agree with this brother. But what good is the furnish to your house with expensive furniture while setting it on fire? In other words, you work so hard for your accomplishments in life to get where you need to be, whether you're a black man or a black uh, woman. To get to a certain level to set everything off on fire. Because this is what is happening to Megan Thee Stallion. She's going through a downward spiral. I guarantee you. Because if a woman is willing to do all this to, like listen you're supposed to be a celebrity right you're supposed to be a celebrity you're supposed to hold yourself to a, a certain account uh, accountability and yeah she'll shake for people like trey songs and 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 meek mills or whoever who's celebrities that's out there she'll do that for attention and and maybe she's doing it for views and ratings and shit i, I don't know but at the same time, she's a poor representation of black women. She's doing way more harm to the black community than good, which is which I totally agree. She is influencing the whole generation of young girls and women that their men, that their main value in the world is twerking and showing off their ass to drop of a dime. Pretty much. You people like your Cardi B's. Who came up with being strippers and shit. You think they really give a damn. About black women. About the black community. Do you think they really give a damn about kids. That are looking up to them. That seeing them. Listen they doing what they had to do to get by. And and hey listen. I'm not justifying that. I've got nothing against that. But at the same time. You're still putting out a bad representation. Of what a woman should be carrying herself. In these days and times. To be someone's digital whore, as long as they getting paid, would you like your daughter or granddaughter to follow her in those footsteps? And I said, exactly. You can't tell ignorant mental, mental slave Negroes anything. But they think it's cool shit. And this guy says in reply to me, unfortunately, you're right. There will always be the neg Negroes like this. <clears throat> well, hey, it is what it is, man. It's a sad, it's a sad world we live in. But what can we do about it? You're always, I'm gonna write to him right now. You're always going to get bashed by the Ray Rays and Pookie Pookie Negro. Negroes, I, I, I call them Negroes, <laughs> Negroes, who are part of the system in taking down the black community and don't even see this as an agenda. It's always been an agenda for the longest time. Listen, I've always been anti-establishment. I've always been against the system. The system has fooled a lot of us as black folks, a lot of us as um, people of color, or just a lot of us as just people, that's individual, like brown people too. But listen, of course she's going to have her solid fans that's going to back her up. And that's going to go against people like me or whoever. And the first thing that's going to come out of their mouth is, Oh, you jealous. Oh, you don't have money. Oh, you broke. Oh, you just mad. Oh, you just a hater. Listen, I am not jealous. I am not mad over anybody's success in life. Praise. I'm glad black brothers and sisters is out there making money, man. I got nothing against anybody making their money. The only problem I have against is what you putting out. 
what you're putting out is for us, us people, and you're promoting this agenda for us to be still in the dumbed down, ignorant nigga mentality state of mind. This is why I can't stand school. I never liked it school growing up as a kid because school never taught me any valuable principles in life. School only taught me about what to learn about my past history, which I needed to learn more about the present and the future on how I can be a productive citizen in this world and have a productive system. See, school has taught all of us to work to have a nine to five to work for somebody, to pay for somebody's bills. That's what school has taught us to do, to pay for somebody's bills. School hasn't taught us as people to have our foundation, to, to have an establishment and being wealthy. The only thing we learned as black folks, the only way we can get money and be wealthy is become a professional athlete. Become a professional athlete, become the dope boy on the block, or to become a basketball, well, I just said professional athlete, or a rap artist. So if you ain't one of those three, the black community looks down on you. And the first thing they say is, you ain't got no money. What makes you think I ain't got money? I may not got money like Megan the Stallion, but what makes you think I ain't got money? I never understand this concept of when people try to, I guess, define your statement and go against your statement because this is what you call your Ray Rays and Pookies and Sip niggas who are thirsty for these type of women, who are thirsty and put these type of women on a pedestal. That's the problem. Why do you think you Negroes don't have any respect from your own women? Because you don't respect yourselves. And these women don't respect themselves. So what makes you think they're going to respect you? All these women do is love the validation and attention like every other race of whore women that's acting like this that's out there. Notice how I said acting like this. I never said all women are whores. Listen to my words, because I know you trolls and you sip niggas that'll probably come by my channel want to switch my words around. There's a problem deep down within the black community that's been around for many, many, many years. And you got some men out there that are waking up and starting to see shit. This woman is a byproduct of a non-marrying citizen. <laughs> Let's play this again, man, because I don't see how... Listen, in Hollywood, they're making fun of this woman. The Hollywood men... You think you think this chick right here gives a shit about you regular simp-ass pookie-pookie-dookie niggas that's giving her thumbs up and following her on Instagram and tell, oh my God, you look so good. Oh, let me see that ass girl. She don't give a shit about none of you niggas because at the end of the day... She, cut her, she categorizes herself as one of the top boss females that's in the game. That she can get those 10% of niggas that every bitch wants. But here's the thing. These 10% niggas that have a lot of money. Who, I'm talking about the 10% like the basketball players. The, 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 the rap artists. The music producers. They don't want to deal with Megan Thee Stallion. They will probably use her for attention and clout so they can get more followers. But after some time when her stock exchange is down, what makes you think when she's not making much music anymore and she's not putting out the shit that a lot of people are like, oh, Megan Thee Stallion, oh, shit, when's the last time she had a hit? People got to start to look and say, well, damn, she going to be one of those love and hip hop type girls. Because that's exactly what happens to a lot of these females that don't make it and men too that don't make it not saying that she ain't making it but when you piss off certain people in the industry and when you got to go to these results of trying to whore yourself and try to just put out your just just air out your dirt and your information most people don't want to be around girls like that in the industry because they know that you you talk too much 
she's coming off as a groupie, man. She doesn't really come off as a person who has high value. So when a nigga comes up to me, when a Pookie and Ray Ray nigga come up to me and say, hey, stop acting like that. You're just jealous because she goes to college and she make more money than you. See, that's their whole definitive argument in their statement of trying to deflect you from the truth. That is a... Rem um. That is an emotional response. And that tendencies reminds me of a female's tendencies when men come at me that way. When you don't have a logical statement to hold back what you have to say and you have to answer in an emotional response, that just tells me right there, you a Ray Ray and Pookie nigga. Because I know a, a lot of you Ray Ray Pookie niggas, especially you niggas that just come straight out of jail, y'all emotional as hell. Y'all don't use y'all head, y'all emotional as shit, y'all hotheads, y'all ready to just go back, commit crimes, and get your ass right back into the system that your oppressors want you to be back into. So go ahead and keep on committing those crimes. You think that you do, you think you're doing any justice by defending your so-called sisters who obviously don't give a damn about you? Who obviously don't give a shit about you. Not saying all black women now. I'm just talking about these hood rat ratchet hoes. But you got these Ray Ray Pookie niggas so quick to defend them. But when a brother like me that comes out and just say, hey, listen, man, stop being thirsty for these bitches. Because they ain't even giving you no type of time or clout. But you want to go ahead and defend a bitch that obviously doesn't give a shit about you. Or probably doesn't even know that you exist. That's the shit I can't stand. And that's the shit that makes me wonder to myself. What's wrong with you Negroes? Negroes. Why are y'all defending somebody who doesn't give a damn about herself and obviously doesn't give a shit about the black community just for validation, attention, and money? I seen a comment that said, y'all be doing all this to ride dick for five minutes. <laughs> First of all. <laughs> so, in other words, she's responding to a guy who made a comment about females who does ride dick for five minutes and don't be doing nothing. Now, listen, man, I guess she's talking about, he, he could be talking about all different angles. You could talk about this women that he probably paid sex for because there are a lot of women who look just like this woman out here and wouldn't be surprised if she's out there selling pussy herself that's out there that will probably don't give a fuck, charge a nigga real quick, don't even give a fuck if he busts, just try to get the money and leave. That's the tricking business. That's why it's called tricking. So that's probably what he was talking about from that perspective. So she felt some type of way. Obviously, because she might be one of those five, one out of five women who probably do that shit. You know, the blue balls trick. Tricking a nigga. Tell him, oh, you got, you got 30 minutes, but then she'll just waste her fucking time to stretch it all out. Because she don't give a fuck. She's just trying to make her bag. I'm just saying, if you're in the tricking business, business like that. But it just makes you think to yourself, hmm. If you ain't part of those women, Megan Thee Stallion, why do you care so much? Why are you in your feelings? For five minutes. <laughs> First of all, I'm riding that dick. Mm. So he come twice. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the yeah. fuck up. I ain't never fucked on a nigga that ain't came three times. No. That's, That's facts. That's facts. That's enough. Megan. Only reason why Megan. niggas is not fucking with me is because I broke up with them. Megan. I don't want to deal with you. Megan. Quick nut niggas. Here's the ego part now. The only why I stopped dealing with niggas is because I broke up with them. Ooh. Here is the emotional response part. So she feels because she's rich and she's famous.
that she has to uphold authority in a relationship. I broke up with them. How do we know that? To my calculations, usually when women, not saying all, but I'm just saying, with my experience in dealing with a broken, bitter female, I've had one before that went ahead and started talking trash about me, which was untrue. It started spreading rumors because she was hurt at the situation that I left her. And these are the type of females that would do things like this. They would rant, they would go on social media, they will make up all types of allegations. That is completely false. But this is the day and age that we live in, folks, where our black women love to talk too much about their business, about what's going on in their bedroom, about what's going on in their relationships. Besides talking it over with their significant other or their ex about how they feel, the first thing they want to do, they do their hair all done up, they get their boobs all out. Um, I gotta tell you guys something, this bitch ass nigga, and she's showing up herself looking all sexy for the camera, doing the whole filter shit. The first thing they want to do is start airing out their business, gossiping like a bunch of hee 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 hee, like a bunch of goddamn hyenas. When is it time that black women are going to get it together and say enough is enough? Black women. The time for change is now. You need to start correcting your own women for doing bullshit. That's the only way black women will start to get shit together. Is when the intelligent, logical black women start talking to these women. And telling these women, you need to stop. You need to stop. You need to stop. But will that ever happen? Because as far as I'm concerned is... The so quote unquote sisterhood, they stick up for each other. They would never tell the other, hey, you're getting out of line, you're doing something wrong. But I'll tell you this though, the brothers, we are quick to step in and defend the good. We do that. And we're also against the Ray Rays and Pookies who act emotional and who are completely thirsting and acting like a bunch of thirst buckets on social media and bigging up these trash whores and we tell them hey you y'all need to stop doing this you're the reason why you're one of the reasons why the black community is in shambles right now you're one of the reasons why we don't have enough good women in the black community and most women feel they need to twerk they need to show ass and titties for attention or have to post a bunch of pictures of themselves all the time. That's the issues that we have. Megan, I don't like niggas that don't last long. And then you got niggas like Tigger right now. Tigger and Tiger. So when you have people like Tigger and Tiger that's doing all this type of stuff. Tigger, Tiger, I don't know what the fuck his name is, Tigger, is his name Tiger? Tiger, Tiger, I'm sorry, not Tigger, Tigger, Tiger, whatever. See, Tiger is just like this, man. He's instigating the shit. And this is nothing more than just, listen. I'm trying to say this in a way to where I don't come off as a hater. Because I already know the people are going to come on here. Oh, you're a hater. I'm going to come off here and say I'm a hater. This is the problem that I have. Okay. And I never really talk about this as much. But this is the main problems that I have. Right. Is that. Us men have to also hold accountability for the validation that we give out to women. If we stop with giving and praising these type of women with validation, what do you think these women are going to start doing? They're going to stop twerking. Megan Thee Stallion just wants to bag herself and wants to have a relationship with a nigga whose pockets is long. Okay? 
And who's to know what she's doing behind? Nobody knows these people personally behind scenes. Who's to know she ain't slutting it out? Who, who's to know she ain't giving it up for that bag? Oh, yeah, there's celebrity people, too, who be smashing other celebrities for that bag. <laughs> Believe it or not. Not saying she is. But don't be surprised. <laughs> Now don't get me wrong man I love ass Don't get me wrong I love ass And yeah she does have a nice body But here's the thing man You're supposed to hold yourself to accountability You you on a different level You are supposed to be a celebrity Leave that shit for the, for the girls who are trying to come up Leave that shit for the slutty ass whores that's trying to make a buck Who's trying to be a groupie for rappers You coming off as one of these groupie bitches you don't come off as a celebrity chick to me. I mean, yeah, you well known and yeah, you are a celebrity. You got money, but you acting like a groupie. This is the stuff that groupie women do. Am I wrong? I guess this is what quarantine does to niggas and bitches, man. They bored as fuck, so hey, whatever. They just having fun. Got nothing wrong with having fun, but it's just the presentation, what you bring out there. It's not a good look for the black community. I'm just saying. But then again, hey, it is what it is, right? <laughs> Yeah, Megan Good is just on that drink and she's fucked up right now and she's full with a lot of emotions. But anyways, guys, man, that's all I got to say. Rate the video, leave your comments, let me know what you think. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Holla. <laughs>